Hey, what's up, you guys? It's January 22nd, 2021 in Big Bear Lake, California. What's up, you guys? How you guys doing? I hope you're well. Um, yeah, I just saw a couple little snowflakes falling, but you know what that means, guys. So we got to go out and do a video. <clears throat> um, we're going to do a little drive around the lake. This could kind of be the calm before the storm video. So you guys can see what town looks like when there's no snow. Uh, and then a week later from now, dude, it's going to be insane, you guys. But yeah, this is killing me right now. I really started this video at the wrong time with the traffic here. So let me uh, let me just stop for a minute, please. And then I'll turn it right back on. All right, guys, we just flipped the B. We made a U-turn. Um, and we're just heading up Jeffrey's right now. We're going to take the back streets to and through the village and whatnot. I checked out of that hotel today. Very sad. Very sad. Very sad. That's the middle school, I think, or something like that. Big Bear Middle School. BBMS. Big Bear. I want to give my friend a little honk. Hello. <laughs> He's gonna be like, dude, what the hell was that? Okay, you guys, come on. Let's get some some more snowflakes in here. Yeah, boy. For those of you coming up tomorrow or today, even still, um, even though this isn't gonna be much snow. There's a potential to get three to six inches between now and uh, Sunday morning. And then we get a big break all day Sunday. Here's, there's some snowflakes. I right, see him guys. See him, my friend. Uh, we'll get a big break. And then uh, Sunday night is when the masterpiece is going to be painted up here. It's, that's when it begins in terms of the amount of snow. However, I just checked earlier today and it looked like on one of the days where we were supposed to get like a foot and a half just in that one day, it backed off of that big time on that one day. So I'm a little bit sad, but I added everything up together and I like, uh, like when it says up to one to three inches or three to five inches type thing, I, I just, I added the, the high end of that for all of them. And it, it came out to like 36 inches or something. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking about half of that. We'll probably get 12 to 18 inches. Obviously 18 is half of that, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but you guys need to be very, very safe. Every single one of you, please have chains with you, tire chains. Even the ones of you with uh, four wheel drive, I don't think it, it would make a huge difference, but it might, if you're not that comfortable, just have them with you in your car just in case. It's such a good investment, you guys. I don't want you guys to ruin your vacation by uh, being miserable and getting stuck and just not having a good time like that. Just like that, that South Park episode, you know? If you get stuck in the snow, you can't have a bad time. <laughs> but it's supposed to be, if you french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. All right, so we got a little bit of light snow. Well, not light snow, but it's very light. Very light. Oh my goodness. And it's 37 degrees. Oh, why is it so warm? So yeah, so we're definitely gonna start off with like some like sleet. What a sleet pellet that was. Okay, so I like when it sleets. Not, <laughs> not. So we're just basically driving up to the top of the village and we're gonna go through the neighborhoods up top of the village, back down. And we'll definitely fall into a couple more flakes up here for sure. Right when I said that, you can see a little bit more. Because the closer we get to the mountain, we're good. But once again, I want to revert back to uh, your safety driving up here, you guys. Every single one of you, uh, even as I said, the ones with all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, if you don't feel that comfortable, even though you have one of those vehicles, it it wouldn't be a bad idea just to have them just, just in case. Um, and then, yeah, make sure you guys, please, um, especially coming here after Sunday. Oh, here we go with some snowflakes coming here after Sunday um, if they even let you up you're I really suggest you bring a bunch of blankets for your car some warm clothing obviously you'll and I'm sure you will you will have that anyway okay or not this guy anyway. okay so warm clothing blankets food and water enough food and water to last you up to a week just to be safe I'm telling you guys right now this is no joke what's coming through even though it backed off a bit on the second part, which was supposed to be the largest part, it's, it's still gonna be massive, you guys. And the fact is, and it's a fact, if you get stuck out here 
and it's snowing and it's deep snow, what ends up happening is it takes AAA because there's only so many of them. It's not that many. So it, 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 it'll take them up to a lot of times 24 plus hours to get to you. So that's why it's really important. You have all that stuff in your car, a lot of food, a lot of water, warm clothing, blankets, everything you need and let people know, let at least two or three people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you to let them know that you're safe. Um, it's very important. I love you guys to death. I don't want anything to happen to any of you. Um, this place is supposed to be a fun place, a vacation spot for you guys to come up here and just, you know, take a load off, you know, have a few drinks. I don't drink, smoke some ganja. I do that. But like, uh, yeah, just take a load off, man. You guys work hard going through a bunch of the, the COVID madness down the hill. Um, just, yeah, come up here, take a load off, but it's very, very, it's a, it's a, it's poignant that you absolutely take every precaution you can. Like this is serious guys. This is, and I can't even stop repeating that enough. It's so serious. So that being said, as long as you take all those little precautionary measures, you guys should, should be okay if the worst case happens. So that's what your goal is, is to, you know, expect the worst, but hope for the best and be prepared. That's the best way to do it. I'm telling you guys, I know it's a little bit stressful, but you guys are worth it. It's very stressful, but you guys are worth it. So just please be safe. And yeah, we're getting some, some sleep right now. What did I tell you guys? It's bouncing off the hood, just a little bit of sleep, but it's better than nothing. Oh no, we're going to go back up this hill and, and go down the, the, the other side. I've never done this before. Just doing this little drive like this. So this is deja vu. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, here we go. Yo. So what's the, what's the, what's the scenario? I be that name Luda, AKA LBA, LBA. I just wouldn't say one time. South side, that's right. But if you love what you do, do what you feel, then you know you're gonna mark my words. I drop like birds. It's about time for you to get served. Just bring it on now. Bring it on now. All right, never mind. It's enough ludicrous for me. That was that was pretty ludicrous. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Oh, look, it's raining heavy now. Wow, right? It's coming out of my hood. Wow, Mother Nature is really throwing us some curveballs today. <laughs> All right, so instead of making a right where we were, we make a left. And one of my old bosses, he was the lead guitar player and he started that band Yellow Card. He lived there and I was doing deliveries for him when I was working for his cannabis company up here. Um, but yeah, he started that, that band Yellow Card. His name's Ben Harper. <clears throat> when I had uh, my, my other YouTube channel uh, that dealt with my cannabis grow when I used to do that back like five years ago or so, um, he was actually I, I had him as a guest on there because a lot of my fans on on that YouTube channel, which is long gone, you guys, like uh, I, I grew up a bit, um, but they all, a lot of them really liked his band. And I'm like, dude, cruise on over and just, while I'm updating my cannabis grow and showing them what's going on in like week six of flower or something, <clears throat> they, uh, you know, uh, he can be there and, and chat. And it was just super cool. But anyway, yeah, unfortunately he got booted out of the band that he started because of a DUI, but I can understand. I, I, I totally can understand. So God bless him. I wish him the best. I wish him the best. He, he obviously hasn't been in that band for years, but yeah, Ben Harper, look him up. He looks like Chucky from like, uh, um, gosh, what are those? What are those? Uh, like the bride of Ch child's play looks like child's play anyway wow look at those clouds out there i think we're gonna have to head that way we are we're going to do it my friend oh some more snow is coming down it's very light in fact very 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 very, very light so we're gonna turn down Petter Street. God, they sure could have done a better name for this this name of the street. Yeah, I'm going to my friend on Petter Street. <laughs> I mean, it just sounds so bad. Yeah, he lives on Petter. <laughs> I mean, come on. But anyway, you guys, 
Hope you guys are doing well. Once again, please take this, this seriously. This is the beginning, but these first few days of storms from here through tomorrow isn't gonna be much, but it could be three to six inches. So um, that can still be extremely treacherous to drive in you guys. I don't want anything to happen to you, okay? Don't, don't forget that. And I do the best to answer all the comments, you guys. Like, I do the, the best I can. You know what's crazy? Like, I had answered all my comments yesterday, and then driving down to Orange County to go see my mom and uh, my business partner. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hang on a second. I have to focus on this real, real quick here. Sorry about that. I think this is somebody who I need to talk to right over here. No. Okay, so back to what I was saying about the comments. I, I respond to them all. I try to do it quickly. Um, and then when I got to Orange County, I didn't stay long. Just gave my mom a big hug and dealt with my business partner real quick. And then I drove back up here to Big Bear. So that was like three and a half hours, four hours round trip. And it was, uh, when I got back, there were so many comments. It was, it was crazy. It was like, like, dude, like ridiculous. It was so many comments. No, no, no. It was not when I got back up here, when I got to Orange County, I was only there not long, but the whole drive down there, I obviously wasn't like checking my messages and stuff just to be safe, safer on those freeways and stuff like that. But the whole drive back from Orange County, the whole drive back, I was responding via talking to the, to the, uh, text or talking my texts as a response, just so I could keep my eyes on the road and answer them. And the crazy thing was it took the whole drive to respond just to the comments that were left while I drove down there. How freaking awesome is that? Like, I love you guys so much. I know I blab on a lot, but you guys really make my day. This is where we just stayed. You guys, I miss you so much, my friend. Oh boy, I want to stay there again. It's going to be full tonight is what they said. That's why I only got a one hour later checkout. I was so bummed. I, I was trying to like, I was gonna try to be sly and like catch them in like some like power trip type thing by like saying, hey, you know what? I'd like to stay one, one more night. So let me just uh, have the room for, for one more night. And if they would have been like, okay, no problem. Then I knew that they were power tripping about the late checkout when they guaranteed me a late checkout, a few hours late actually previously. Um, but someone was checking into the room. That's why I couldn't stay another night. So that eased my mind. I was thinking that they were just trying to be mean and they, they weren't, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking actually, but yeah, guys, we got some of this weather coming down right now. This is freaking awesome. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everything you do. So yeah, I think we're just gonna do a drive around town, yo. Just do a whole drive around the lake. When we're on the other side, looking across, we, you'll 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 be able to see the storms like literally, or the storm like just rolling over the top of the mountain. It's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be so awesome. That's why you get hit in the side, buddy. <laughs> Guy had a huge dent on the side of the. Yeah, for pulling out like that, probably. What a kook. What a kook, bro. What a kook, man. So, yeah, guys, look at... I can't believe it. We were getting some... So look at all this traffic. Oh, my gosh. All you guys are coming into town. Yeah, boy. Yeah. What's up? And then, yeah. <laughs> guys, oh, my gosh. Look at the clouds there. We're getting dark, folks. It's zero dark 30 here. We're about to go crazy. Oh, there's a bunch of people sledding right there. You can't see it. Oh, right through there. Do you guys see how many people were sledding? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. And I'm telling you guys, I strongly suggest until we get this massive snow that you guys go to these places for pain to go sledding. I know it, it sucks to pay a little bit, but you know what? At least you can rest assured that your kids are, your kids are gonna be safe. You're gonna be safe when you're at the bottom of the hill, you're not going to go into the street. Um, there are a lot of factors you need to take into consideration with that. You know, spending a few extra bucks, even though it's already so expensive coming up here, 
It's so worth it, you guys. And then once we do get a bunch of snow, um, then yeah, drive around, find some spots, but be very vigilant to signs that say no trespassing, et cetera, et cetera. And just obviously you guys are respectful people. Just, just respect people's property and stuff. But I strongly urge you to, you know, drive around and just find some spots, but please be very, very careful about the spots where at the bottom of the hill, if you don't slow down or if, if you parents don't like stop your kids, like that there's a, you know, you don't want them going into the street. Like that would not be a good memory for Big Bear. That would not be a good memory ever. Um, as I say, I just want you guys to be safe. You know, you guys mean a lot to me. You guys have changed my life. You guys have completely changed my life. I'm not talking like financially. I'm talking about emotionally. Like you guys have drastically changed who I am. If you watched my videos previously from this channel, like, uh, like the first two years or so, three years, and this is my fifth or sixth season, I can't remember, since I've lived here. But in the first couple of years, every other word out of my mouth was the F word, and if someone left a nasty comment, I would react so poorly. I would even make a video cussing them out, threatening them and stuff. Like, like I was just, a, I, I, I was a different, like, not different, because I still feel the same way, but I just react differently. And I feel more love for myself because you guys have totally given me that beautiful feeling. Look at that over there though. So thank you guys for literally, like you guys have saved my life. Like there's, there's really no other way to put it. You guys have saved my life. Um, I really hope you guys realize how special you are because you really are special to me. Thank you. Like ridiculously special to me. Yeah, look, we're starting, yeah, it's, the sleet's coming down, folks. It's 37 degrees still. The sleet is coming down. Look at that, just bouncing off the hood. Let's see, if we zoom in right here, let's see if we can see it better. Oh yeah. See that, guys? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Gosh, so many of my references are from South Park. Too. This better not be traffic leaving town. If so, we're not going to go. Oh my gosh, if so, I pretty much screwed myself. I'm gonna be forced to go that way because if I turn around, I'm gonna to have to be stuck in some serious traffic going the other way. So anyway, you guys, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're staying healthy. Hope your family's doing good. Um, hope your pets are doing good. Um, yeah, boy. And real quick also, I like to mention this guy and this guy's company. He's such a wonderful man up here. His name is Sahil and he owns Bear City Smoke Shop. And it's like our like biggest, best smoke shop up here. I strongly suggest you guys go check it out when you're here. They have everything and like, uh, like things that you wouldn't typically find down the hill. He probably has it up here because uh, he, it's, it's, you know, he, he kind of has to have a little more than most people would in terms of product and what he has. Um, so it's a cool place to go check out, you know, get your tobacco products or get your uh, accessories for for Cannabois, for your Cannabois. If you smoke Cannabois. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, they have everything there. They have everything um, and he's a good dude and his prices are, believe it or not, pretty damn good. Like. Uh, they actually smoke the other places up here, which is kind of amazing how his prices are so much lower. I don't know how he can do it, but that just tells me that other people are really overcharging. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let me uh, check. I have to check this phone call real quick. So give me a moment, folks. All right, guys, sorry. That was bidding it. Your boy got to take care of some bidding it. My bidding it need to be taken care of. Because I like my bidding it. You guys like my business. <laughs> Trust me, dude. You guys call me a lot when you come up here. It's, it's freaking awesome. And then you guys really love me. You're like, oh my gosh, it's like Amsterdam. <laughs> Seriously, dude. I've actually been a judge at the Cannabis Cup in Amsterdam when I was 20 years old, back in the year 2000. It was ridiculously cool. 
I went to Amsterdam because I got my first credit card and I always wanted to go to Amsterdam to go to the cafes and stuff before it was all legal here. Um, and uh, so I booked a flight and funny enough, like I had no idea the Cannabis Cup was that time of the year. I booked the flight from November uh, 14th and came back November 28th. Spent some time in Germany too on that one trip. But um, long story short, when I wake up at the, uh, uh, we stayed at Hotel Victoria and for the, the first morning I went down for the beautiful continental breakfast and wouldn't you know it um, there were a bunch of people there and who you know everyone in the Dutch area speaks English for the most part but like these people didn't have any accents they were from America and uh, they had these like necklaces on that's like and I looked closely and it's a cannabis cup like judge or like something and I was like what like, uh, I, I just thought that that was like a souvenir because I would think that they'd have the cannabis cup in the summertime. It, it just made more sense to me, but it was fun. It was, it was starting that day and I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Like it was the most exciting news ever. And I asked them how to be a part and they said, it's just 200 us dollars, which over there, that was like 600 guilders at the time or 650 guilders. So it was 200 US dollars. And I rode the bus with them to this place called PAX Party Center, P-A-X Party Center. And it's a three story building that has all the newest technologies for cannabis and all the best cannabis from all over the world, different people's techniques for like growing thousands of, of little seedlings and everything, everything actually popping through and nothing nothing dying like it's just amazing but yeah so that was my my amsterdam trip i could not believe it like i always wanted to be a judge at the cannabis cup and so i ended up being one just randomly it was crazy i, I got there the day it started like or the, the day before it started so yeah and then i did what they call the 420 tour with them where they take you to a whole bunch of different cafes and then after the after the judging um for the uh, a cannabis cup they have like the indicas and sativas um and yeah like it was just amazing guys it was really amazing had a great time so anyway sorry to talk so much about that but it's part of my past you know like it, it's it's molded me into who i am today all the mistakes that i've done and and uh maybe in some people's eyes they aren't mistakes but if i don't feel good about it for me it's a mistake um, I, I probably wouldn't go do that cannabis cup thing again, but anyway, we'll stop talking about that. Um, but yeah, guys, check this out. We are, oh my gosh, look at the lake. Hang on a second. I'm gonna have to pull over real quick because I've got to respond to this message. I've got to do my hand. I don't, I don't have a choice, my hand. Slow it down, buddy. Okay, hang on. Guys, this is ridiculous. Look how pretty it is. And you got the blue skies over there. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, guys. Without my business, I wouldn't be able to stay at these nice, nice hotels and stuff. Yeah, it taps me out completely, but I can't take it with me. And I've invested my whole life in my adult life in savings and whatnot. Honestly, like it's never gone well for me. Like something happens with it and I'm just over it. I want to live and enjoy my life. My luck, you know, I start really putting money away, like I'm gonna get hit by a bus or something. I know it's the wrong attitude to take, but that's how I feel. And guys, this is ridiculously pretty. Look at this, just pushing right over the mountain right there. And then you guys know me and my big bear snow rule, right? So out, out that way, you can see it's less clouds, lighter clouds. But that's what happens, especially when we when we don't get the really large storms. What happens is because we are in a very unique area where we have a very dry, arid climate just right, right, right over here in the direction that I am pointing. Right over there on the other side of the mountains, it's completely desert, like as desert as it gets. And then right over here where the topography really rises big time, that induces more moisture, um, causes lift, condensation and whatnot. So what happens is on the other side of these mountains right here is the storms push up against it and then they lift and dump most of the moisture just on the other side of the mountain 
And then once the clouds try to move over the mountain and through the valley, it hits the really dry, arid climate about halfway through the valley, which is pretty crazy. And you'll see this, all the clouds completely break up most of the time right there. It's truly amazing, guys. This is a very crazy cool area when it comes to like weather anomalies and just our climate here. It's, it's just so unique here. It's so unique. I hope I'm making sense to you guys. I'm probably not, so forgive me. But yeah, look at this. And we got some, some, some tool bag charging behind me. I'll let him buy though because that's what we're supposed to do. That's so beautiful, guys. At least he gave me a thank you. So I gave him a, a big old non-middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious guys this is cool man you can tell something's definitely rolling in i mean if if i didn't know any better that looks like a, like some really thick clouds some monster storm coming through but it's really not that big of a deal this storm but i still suggest you guys very much heed my warnings um i mean have your tire chains with you please please i don't care what you're driving just in case like just in case to give you a little extra traction warm clothing blankets in your car enough food to last you a week enough water to last you a week in the car um and if you get stuck like uh just just make sure a few people know where you're going and when to expect you guys please i cannot stress that enough and i cannot stress enough how beautiful this is It's a very beautiful view. <laughs> I just came up with that. I'm copywriting it. It's mine. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful view. It's a very beautiful view. A view. <laughs> no, I'm not on crack. I just am, I'm a funny looking guy. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not on anything, you guys. This is just me. This is me in the rock. This is me in the rock. Oh, there's some sledding places right here, you guys, in Fonskin on the left-hand side. Um, this area usually maintains the snow for a long time because it doesn't get hardly any sunlight over here, at least direct sunlight over here on the left. So if you guys can can, can find spots, like, like, look at that. I mean, seriously, that's those are safe areas over here in the Fonskin area. So when you get into town, you guys, I urge you to make a left once you hit the Big Bear Dam. Make a left into Fonskin, like head towards Fonskin. This takes you still around to Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City anyway. But if you want to try and find some, some good sledding after we get a little bit of snow, this over here is a great place. And you don't want to speed through here. Speed limit's 25, we want to maintain. And we're only going 23, so we're going to speed it up to 25. There we go. There we go. So this is Fonskin. Don't blink, you guys, or you will miss the town. I think straight ahead, that barn-looking building is, is one of the oldest buildings in town. Kind of looks like it, too, if you look at the top. Looks like Freddy Krueger's building. Freddy Krueger's building. Jeez Louise. Couldn't I come up with something better than Freddy Krueger's building? Anyway, guys, oh my gosh, dude, we are gonna get so walloped with snow. I'm so, I'm snow happy about it. Look at me playing on words lately. Holy crizzle. Holy crizzle for my dizzle. Ah, she's playing with my dizzle. <laughs> All right. All righty then. All righty then, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Castle Flames, Thomas Hummer, Boy Lemonade. 37 degrees, 
37 degrees in the fawn skin area. 37 degrees. 340 miles till empty. And it's 2.13 p.m. <laughs> I'm a crackhead without the crack. <laughs> I just get really excited with this weather, you guys. It's really like, it, it turns me into just the biggest dork who ever walked the freaking planet. Because I'm a dork. Oh yeah, look at that view. Look at the view here, man. Look at the view, man. Oh, look at the view. Look at the view. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. Oh man. Oh, man, 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 man. Hey, I gotta take this call real quick, so give me a second, yo. Hang on just a moment. Guys, we're just gonna sit here for a sec. Oh my gosh, look at the Big Bear Dam area. Oh man, look at how black that is. Holy smokes. Guys, this is gonna be sick. Even this first little storm, man. And look at how fast these clouds are rolling. We're just gonna be like right here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to drive back into Big Bear Lake. We're like so far away from where I need to be going right now. Dang it, it's okay though, you guys are worth it. But look, like look at the blue on the left-hand side and look at how fast it'll be like overcome with, with clouds, watch. And then we'll get going. Just right after this little part. So on the left-hand side. Just incredible. See the that blue's freaking gone now. <laughs> it's so quick, you guys, but that is amazing right there. Hang All on. Alright guys, we're gonna make light baby and head out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Oh my gosh, guys, it's really coming in, man. It is really just on this drive, it's really beginning to overtake uh the Big Bear Lake and the Big Bear Dam area. Boulder Bay for sure. So yeah, the storm's arriving a little bit ahead of schedule. According to everything last night, it wasn't supposed to really start anything till about five o'clock today. So we're about three hours ahead of schedule, which is good. Very rare that that happens. Usually when they say it's gonna snow at five, like a few hours later, you check it out and then it says it's gonna snow at six and then you check it out later and then it says it's gonna snow at seven and then at eight and then, so it's just like keeps on being pushed back. But this time we, we got a little lucky. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy. Look at the moon right there. Look at the moon in the sky next to the clouds. Look at the moon in the sky and the clouds. Look at the moon, sky and clouds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why am I so crazy? I don't know. I don't know. But if this guy doesn't speed up and at least go the speed limit, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off for a minute so you guys don't see what I'm doing. Wah, 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 wah. Just kidding, you guys. I'm, you know what? You guys are my family. I share everything with you. Almost everything. We're not that kind of family. <laughs> my gosh, I am so happy. I am so happy. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. This is just abs. Oh, look at that. What is going on here? It's blue, blue, blue. Blue. <laughs> it's blue. Azul. Blue. Blue. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. Look, I know I talk a lot. So, like, if it's super annoying, I encourage you just to hit mute and then turn on some music in the background or something and, and watch the video like that. Because I don't want to annoy you guys, but this is me, man. It's all me. It's all me. Tell me, yo. So we're on North Shore right now. This is Highway 38. Highway 38. Yeah. All right. Did, did, did you get that? Did you get that? Uh, over here are the ski resorts. We'll be able to see them a lot better in just a moment. I'm going to have to turn on my heat and then roll down the window. Roll down the window. And this guy's coming up on me quickly. I'm going to have to blast the train horn to say hello. see. Oh yeah. 
right on my butt. And I think I'm gonna have to blast them. But anyway, oh man. So this is the other side of the valley. That's like in the desert part. So we got a few clouds over that have made it all the way over there. You can tell it's snowing over there on the mountain right there. You can see it snowing. And then right over here is the stormage, folks. Man, coming up to Snow Summit and Bear Mountain for that view. Just a moment here. So you can see it from the other side of the lake. Alright man, this chick's about to get it man, I'm telling you. I'm not playing around. That's so pretty. So that's Snow Summit right there. And then to the left, you can't really see it because it's inundated with clouds, but that's Bear Mountain on the left. And I guarantee you we're not going to be able to see Summit very much in a short period of time because it's going to start snowing pretty good soon. So that's going to be completely out of the question to see that. But it's just so beautiful, you guys. Wow, she backed off good for her a little bit. I don't take too kindly to tailgaters. Yeah, anyway, hang on, guys. Okay. All right, we're on Stanfield Cutoff right now. And over here is the direction that the storms roll in through typically this time of year. And you can see it's snowing where we just were. You see that? That's snow falling right over there. Right where we just were. Unbelievable. And then Baldwin, look. See the Big Bear snow rule? This is the other side of the valley. Nothing. Craziness, guys. But I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. We got to hang a Roscoe here. That's my air compressor because I did have the blaster. But I didn't want to do it on camera. But I'm being honest, telling you guys what happened. Um, I, I just don't want you to think I'm, I'm, I'm being a jerk, but like, like this wasn't just regular tailgating. She was right, like on my butt, completely. And I'm not mad. I just, I just get even. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding, man. Hey, man. May the Schwartz be with you. I'm melting. I'm melting. All right, there's Stater Brothers and our new Spectrum store. Woo! There's DIY Do It Your Damn Self and Vons and the Dollar Store, guys. Woo! And we're getting snow, yo! We're getting snow, yo! rápido porque yo no quiero esperar en con todo todos estos carros para días y días y días no me gusta el tráfico pero me gusta las personas es un problema hang on guys give me a okay, sorry about that but yeah I just turned the camera back on literally after 10 seconds of being off and it's coming down better now this is great this is great so we're gonna drive through these neighborhoods to avoid the traffic, folks. So that's Snow Summit right there, and there's the hospital right there, and here's a Jeep right here, and a Ford right there. And I am so excited. I am so excited. I just can't express it enough, y'all. So yeah, man. Seriously can't thank you guys enough for being you and being so helpful with me and just so loving towards me. I really appreciate who you guys are. Hang on a moment. It's, it's starting to come down. It's sleeting pretty good right now. You can hear it if I shut up. Wow. But hang on. All right, guys. Sorry about that. It's just inundation. 
of phone calls, if that's even a word, inundation. Inundation. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, boy. Look at that, man. This is awesome sauce, folks. Come on, folks. This is awesome sauce now. We're going to zoom in right here real quick so you guys can really see, man. Unreal. So beautiful. I love it. I love it. I just love it. Okay, here's some tennis courts, guys. If you guys want to come up, we'll smash some balls back and forth. That kind of sounded a little kind of weird. Sorry about that. <laughs> no smacking balls back and forth, yo. So, yeah, anyway, this is one of the, a, a big baseball field, beautiful field, little park area right here. This is right on the lake. This is like uh, one of our biggest parks, if not the biggest park in town. And yeah, you can tell that it's right on the lake right here. Fantabulous. Hey, there we go. There we go. Alright guys. I know this is a long video. I know, I know, I know. But we just basically drove around the main part of town that you guys are going to be spending time in. So Hopefully that's good enough for you. And you can see with your own eyes how it looks now. I suggest you get up here right now. Get your buns up here quick. But it's going to be a little bit too late. Um, if, if you guys have any concerns about driving in this type of weather, it's going to be a little bit like... It's going to be a little nervous style driving coming up the mountain. Because you're going to be driving through where the storms hit the hardest, which is on the other side right there. Because once they hit our mountains right here, like Summit, Bear, that stuff... As I said, the ore graphic lift and whatnot, like uh, just it, it, it makes everything just dump quickly right out of there. And it doesn't make it too much further past our mountains here, which is really cool. But yeah, if we didn't have Snow Summit and like these mountains over here to, to block the town, we'd get decimated with snow. It's just decimated. We would probably get close to mammoth type snowfall. But yeah, anyways. We are on Big Bear Boulevard, and yeah, sorry about that, you guys. So Robin Hood Resort, we're gonna do a video there when we stay there. I love that place, love it. I used to come there all, I used to go there all the time. Why, you can't see the other side of the lake now, right over there. Seriously, everywhere we've been driving just now is freaking dumping, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, well, I wouldn't say dumping, but we are kind of headed back in that direction because I, I've gotta stop and do some, some bit in it over here, so. I appreciate you. Look at all this traffic, yep. Look at all the traffic, yep. We're gonna turn right, we're gonna take these back streets. So right here would be Big Bear Boulevard and Big Bear Boulevard again. That's the entrance to the village on that side over there. But we are taking some side streets so we don't have to deal with any of that. I love this place, the Frontier. I've stayed in their two biggest rooms here. Um, I mean, and one's right on the lake. It was three bedroom. It was so awesome. I loved it. I loved it. I love it. I loved it a lot. So anyway, we're kind of taking the long way. But I got a text this dude. Let him know I'm almost there. Hang on. Okay, you guys. This is the Big Bear Lakefront Lodge. I haven't stayed there yet. Looks a little bit on the rundown side, but I want to stay everywhere because I've learned that it doesn't matter what it looks on the outside because I've found some amazing places that I would have never stayed at from the outside because I was like, oh, there's probably like crack deals going on in the middle of the night or something. And then inside, it's just it's just exactly what I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, don't judge, judge a book by its cover. Do not ever judge a book by its cover. Oh, look at that view these people have right there. Oh, they're very happy people. They're very happy view. A very happy view. I don't know why we're turning left here on Glen, but we're going to, my friend. And 
and then we're gonna turn on temple. Yeah, boy. And then let me let this guy know how close I am. Just hang on a sec, guys, okay? I'll go really slow right here. Hang on. All right, guys, sorry about that. I don't mean to keep on interrupting our little videos, but I've got to. I don't have much of a choice here. But yeah, you guys, I'm so excited for those of you who are coming up. I am so excited for you. This is gonna be such a beautiful time. And I promise you, with the amount of snow, it's gonna be, these are guaranteed lifelong memories, you guys, that you're gonna create, and I'm so excited for you. All right, hang on a second. Once again, I gotta check this. Jeez, let me take it. All right, guys. I'm gonna try not to respond to anything else until we're done with this video. This video is gonna be done once we hit um, this next place we're going because then it's just gonna be traffic all the way back. But we're gonna have to take this street if, if we can. Watch, when we come, when, like when we get out here to the main street, you'll see that I probably stop traffic going left and we don't want that. <laughs> That's kind of sucky. So worst case, we're gonna hit Edgemore, which is up here to the right. When we come back, we're gonna turn left on Edgemore because we don't want to be stuck in this right here, do we? Nope, not we don't. No, we don't. My, oh my gosh, look at it. <laughs> Look at all these people. They're coming up to have some fun. Go skiing and snowboarding and build snowmen. Oh my God, they're gonna have a great time. I should blast my horn at these people. I really should, oh my gosh. But I won't. <laughs> because I'm getting really well known up here. And you know what? Like, there are some imposters though, I'll tell you. But my train horn is the nicest one that uh, horn blasters sells. You guys would crap your pants if you knew what I paid for it so I'm not even gonna say it 2800 bucks but I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for it and then 900 for the install but I will not tell you what I paid for it because you know what I <laughs> oh, that's not who I am but anyway we're at the like we're this is gonna be perfect because when we hit this traffic right here we're not gonna be in it long at all because we're just gonna make a left turn a couple streets back of where we are at right now so anyway we're about to pull up to this place where we're going to be. Once again, I'm sorry about that kind of repetitive part of the drive, but I, I know you guys understand. When we were looking before, remember there was, it was blue skies over there, not anymore. Not anymore. Anyway, guys, for privacy, I gotta shut this off, but I love you guys a lot, and uh, we'll record back to Edgemore, and that's it. Peace out, guys. All right, you guys, so we just left this place. It's a really cool condo complex. I, I, I've never been in there. And this is the ugliest freaking color. We are gonna stay there, too. I'm very, very sad about that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've heard it's, it's actually kind of nice for how not nice it is. I'm just kidding. I, I have no idea. I don't know why I'm talking smack no reason at all no reason at all at all at all no reason at all oh my friend no reason at all all right yeah look it's really starting to come down guys oh look and now it's blue skies over here <laughs> See, we were just here like literally i just turned off the camera for 60 seconds that's it and now it's like blue skies right there but then you look over here and it's devastatingly dark and scary it's snowing. <laughs> it's snowing. It's snowing sleet. It's slowing. This guy it needs to get going because it's slowing. Alright, look, so we're making it through this traffic. I want you guys to see this big shortcut, man. You pay attention to this one right here. Because when you're coming into town, most of you come into town when we have big snow events and stuff, and you just get stuck in traffic. This next left turn is called Edgemore. Right when you pass that uh, that big like performing arts center or whatever the hell it is, this street right here next to the log cabin restaurant is called Edgemore. Turn left on Edgemore. Typically the traffic has already stopped all the way to here, but it's literally stopped just in front of here. And this is a huge, huge shortcut. So we turn left on Edgemore. Look, he stopped right there, see, stop it. Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Shouldn't be in the middle of the street sweeping. But it's okay. He's, 
he's doing a good thing for everybody. Oh my gosh, guys, this is awesome, bro. This is awesome. This is awesome. We're getting, we're getting it, man. We're getting the weather that we're trying to get. And I've been trying very hard, and it's coming through. And it's working very hard for me. This could be a dream come true for you. Speaking to myself. Dude, these sleep pellets are large and in charge, yo. They large and in charge, yo. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see how thick they are. Oh, it has begun, folks. It has begun. Now we take it off zoom. And we begin. And we begin. Oh, now we began. Okay. Oh, look at that cute little house right there, man. It looks like a miniature mansion. <laughs> I guess otherwise would be known as a small house. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with this guy? Oh, here's a friend right here. Owes me money, my friend. Oh, you need to call me and pay me my money, man. Oh, my friend, my friend. So we're gonna turn right on Lakeview. Okay, so we just took Edgemore about a mile deep. We just took her deep and we need to go right on Lakeview and take Lakeview all the way, all the way back, all the way back to Big Bad Boulevard. That's how you do it. Just take it all the way back. Look at some of these places are so beautiful. Okay, this is the Lagunita. This is where a couple people want us to stay. So we're gonna do that for you guys for show. Oh wait, no, that's Viking Estates. I thought that was Lagunita. Maybe I'm wrong. Guys, this is awesome. All this, all the sleep. It's very much a sleeting situation here. Look at the bear. Oh, it's the bear. He's the bear saying hello to everybody. Hi, Mr. Bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. I swear that was Lagunita. I don't know what I'm, what I'm smoking but the sign said something different. I thought that was Lagunita Lodge. It's right on the lake. Um, I really want to do that for you guys because that would be so cool. Oh, look at that. See, this part, this part of the town doesn't get much direct sunlight once again, or this part of this street especially. That's why you see all this snow still here. That's from the, all the previous snow events this, this year. Oh, thank you. ridiculous dude seriously and my prediction was right you guys if you guys watch my videos from like like late summer and fall talking about this season because they were very certain it's going to be a la nina so i was making it very very clear that yeah we're not going to technically get as much precipitation that we usually would however the precipitation we do get due to the fact it's a la nina these storms that are typically rain first for a few inches at least and then we only get like a few inches of snow after the cold front moves through um these these storms well shit man hang on sorry about that once again my eye got caught on, on something and i need to check that out that that looked like a dog right there running in the street i really hope that was not sorry guys i want to make sure this if it was a doggy the hell was it i don't even see him anymore okay anyway back back to the story so I was, I was saying on lots of videos that the, the Pineapple Express that we usually would, would get a lot of moisture with, it's not gonna be as prevalent this year because of La Nina, but it's gonna be a little bit cooler and therefore we're gonna get more snow out of it. As I said, we're not gonna get as much precipitation in terms of measured amounts, but we're, we're gonna have a way better than average snow year. And that's what I said at the beginning, and I was getting nervous. And I and I told you guys at the beginning of, of this month that even though there was nothing in the forecast, late January is when this place has typically seen the biggest storms. And once again, same thing. So I hope you guys understand. I, I, I really focus on this and try to study it as well as I can and just be as smart as I can to help you guys the best that I can. Because I love it. But anyway, right here when we get to Big Red Boulevard, we're shutting this bad boy off because I got to get it uploaded. This is forever. Or maybe that's Lagunita. I don't know. Jeez Louise. Anyway, guys.
guys. Yeah, we're getting some good weather right now. I love it. I love you guys. Peace out. January 22nd, 2021. Um, you guys mean the world to me. And I love you guys so much. And we're going to drive through the village because all that traffic, see? It's good to know the town because then you can just do this. Yeah, boy. Look, and we made the light. Are you kidding me? We avoided all that traffic, guys. Bumper to bumper all the way back there. See how fast we got into town? It's going to take people 30 minutes to get from where we turned on Edgemore to right here. It's so sad. But that's why I want you guys to learn these these faster back routes because I want you guys to have a good time up here. Don't worry about the locals and stuff. They like the ones that have a bitter time with me telling you guys the back routes. They need to kind of be a little more so aware of self and realize that they wouldn't be living here if it wasn't for you guys. So um, they can just, you know, the ones who feel like they're entitled to like something <laughs> just because they're breathing and they live up here. So it, it's, it's just a couple, but a couple of them really do give me crap about trying to help you guys out so much. And uh, like, trust me, like that makes me want to even help you guys more and almost make me want to send you guys like on the back roads right by their house, <laughs> you know, like, but I would never do that. But I just want you guys to know that I really do give a damn about you guys a lot. And uh, yeah, you guys mean a lot to me. And we're in the village right now, you guys. We're in the village, clearly. Clearly. And it's snowing big pellets of sleep, man. Hey, man. Hey, now, hey, now. The hood is over. Hey, now. Did you guys hear that? That's not loud, that is. Anyway, hang tight, guys. Hang on for a second. We are going to make a left. Forget it. We are going to make a left. And come through the village. The rest of the village. Look at, look at that fire pit. That is so cool, guys. What perfect weather for a fire pit. It needs to be a little colder, though, so we can ch change over to complete 100% snow instead of this 100% sleep. I mean, but it's pounding off the car, look at that. Yeah. So yeah, once we get through the village right here, we are gonna shut this bad boy off. But yeah guys, it's just restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. Come up here, have a good time. Live your life. Live your life, enjoy it. I love you guys with all my heart. You guys are amazing. You guys have changed my life, changed my attitude and outlook on everything. Thank you. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys to death. And uh, I just want nothing but the best for you guys. I want you guys to always be safe and just enjoy life, man. Once again, I love you guys. And we are starting to get it. Here it comes, guys. Wow, here it comes, man. I love you all.